Well, build my gallows and build them high Makes a long time climbing before I die I want the chance to build Hi. Hello everybody, welcome to The Match. I'm Matty. I'm Colin. You nearly Hi. said my name. I did. I nearly introduced you. Um, I caught myself off guard, even though I was the person pressing the button to start recording. <laughs> it, happened, you. it happened sooner than I expected. I wasn't quite, uh, wasn't quite ready for it. Uh, right, so the match, uh, just to be clear, this is where we only talk about uh, the game itself. Uh, when we record Long Bangers, uh, right after this, we'll go and kind of talk about the talking points for the game. Uh, this is just really about match match incidents and events, the team lineup, etc. Um, mm-hmm. So... If you want to hear the talking points, stay tuned for uh, for long bangers. If you're a subscriber, you'll get that Sunday night. If you're not a subscriber, it'll be about seven o'clock on um, Monday night when it'll come out. Uh, the match is out to everybody on Sunday night uh, as well, so you'll have that. We're also posting it on Recast. If folk remember, we used to post stuff on Recast fairly regularly. Um, and we bumped into a guy for Recast when we were doing the Open Goal podcast on uh, Monday night, and they asked us if we would consider posting again, so uh, we're going to post some stuff up on there. Benefit of that, if you want to uh, support the podcast but don't want to subscribe, I um, don't know why you would want to do that, but if you didn't want to subscribe but you want to support us, uh, watch this on uh, Recast. You can watch an advert. It'll cost you however many credits on there. You don't spend your own money, but we get a wee cut of it. So anyway, that's the wee pitch done for uh, for Recast. And there's a link on our Twitter as well if you look at tweets that we put out the day, which is Sunday. Uh, if you've not registered for ECAST already, you can do that through that link and we get some points for that as well. Anyway, right, into the game itself, uh, Colin. So, just going to run through the starting lineup. Uh, a couple of changes. I get your thoughts on, or what your thoughts were when you saw the lineup. So, Marshall, uh, Chabria, Hanlon, Cadden, Jago, Henderson, Yuan, Fish, Egan Riley, Campbell, and McGeady. What were your thoughts when you saw that? Um, I can't. I can't really remember. Other than I think I was going. I'm not really sure what the formation formation is. Um, and I probably was surprised Henderson was in, mm-hmm. even though I know he came on and sort of passed the ball for the the goal um, at, at St Mirren. But and I guess there's lack of options really, isn't there, up front? And so that would be that would be one of the reasons why he was. But I, other than that, I was. It was. It was there's a bit of consistency in selection now, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Yeah. I thought like Egan Riley, that was the, the sort of the wild card in it when you were looking at it, because with, with uh, Hanlon playing, so not Hanlon, Cadden uh, playing, you knew the uh-huh. right-back position was covered. And when Egan Riley had played uh, last week, he'd gone in at right-back. So he sort of featured a, a, cent- a central defensive midfield alongside Jago. How do you think he got in there? Oh, great. Okay. I think that... I, think I, I like that formation, the two two sitting midfielders, um, then gives the the the, the attacking players a bit of, a bit more freedom in that. So I like that. I think the two of them worked really well. Like I don't think there's any. I don't think you can doubt the the difference. Um, that how solid the team look in the yeah. last well month, I suppose six weeks. Eh, no six weeks. Sorry. Um, Six games, four games. Six games it been? Aye. Um, since since the Hearts game, basically. Aye. Um, um, however many it is. And Stevenson dropped it. I think Stevenson had a bit of a knock, so Chabria came in there. I thought he did. Uh, he did fine in the game. Um, yeah. And no, Joe Newell. I think Newell was injured as well, so he just kind of dropped out the squad all, all together. Um, yeah. It's no often that Newell misses a uh, misses a game. Um, quite a positive start, though. Like Hibs got off in the front foot. Call. Did you, you think how the game opened? Aye, we were a better team. Like the, the just the, should have scored more goals. I've watched it back since on sports seen the highlights, and at the time we thought, oh, fucking shoot, or like, or there was options to pass. Yeah, to a, maybe somebody in a better option. They've taken the shot on, and the keeper made maybe three saves, but I think every one of them were fairly comfortable, easy saves. It wasn't really making them work that hard. I know they go down as a save because it was a shot on target, and all these stats will show that. But yeah, they weren't any great efforts and I think there was chances to shoot earlier or or pass a, a player in a better position like um, I think Henderson got a shot away and he had Juan out wide, Juan had one where he could have played somebody in earlier 
Um, then there was the one, you know, Henderson got knocked off the line as well after yeah. you and like should have had a shot and ended up like, driveling past about six of them to the, or, or three of them twice, I think maybe. have been, <laughs> um, to get the ball across and Henderson kind of got a touch on it and the boy knocked it off the line. So yeah, they're all chances, they're all shots on target and they're all, like as I think Johnson called it, highlight, great for the highlights reel. And, but actually, like, I'm, I'm, I'm quite simplistic when it comes to football. Just, uh, just fucking shoot. Like, Aye. take just shoot just now. Score. Stay Aye. early. Or um, just like how I like the two defensive midfielders, sweeping everything up and tidying everything up and calming everything down. Uh, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's just... Uh, I like it. The basics. Do the basics. He, defenders fucking defending. Defensive midfielders doing that job. And fucking strikers getting shots in that way. That's that's what I like. Like I, yeah. didn't, I didn't need it to be walked in. I didn't need I didn't need fucking uh, World Cup World Cup passes for your defensive midfielder or your centre half. Just fucking deal with it. Do your job. Do the basics. Do them well. Um, and and that's what I liked about it. But I thought in, in the attacking third, we were a bit creating chances, but no. Picking the right options, but that, that, hopefully that will come. And especially when you've got Nisbet and Kukrevich and even McCurdy maybe to come back yeah. in, and then you would like to think, but certainly the first two, I think it's proven that they they could, they will take a shot or they will get a shot away. In comparison, even Hopper when he came on, maybe he got a couple yeah. of shots away, didn't he? So, um, I I think I like the defensive solidity, and I like we're still creating chances. I just think we need better quality on the. And attacking part. Uh, the the goal came first goal came from uh, the header well fish I think it was Henderson uh, took the corner um, right on his head cracking header for uh, fish but no chance but it another goal for a corner Aye. like uh, we've been taking the piss at the stats say saying like is it you and had the stats I'm not doing you and stats like you know but it was like a low percentage of number uh, of goals that come for corners and jo- uh, Josh he- quoted it was three percent I think three, uh, three every hundred corners will get result in a goal but. But we've had like three goals, goals to the corners in the last couple of games. Yeah. Um, but then we have went maybe 100 games before that with it though. <laughs> so. But it, it does feel like they come in spells, eh? Because it was like, I mean, McGregor scored two heaters in, in a game once at the end of the season in the playoffs yeah, back then. And uh, then you never get another one and you go, fuck's sake, we never score for corners. And then, but I mean, it was a cracking one. I, I do like the ones just when the second half comes forward and crashes it because. Defenders are generally, generally good at attacking a ball. Mm-hmm. It's usually in their own box. But obviously they should be able to convert that into the other box. Eh? It's the same fucking thing. It's just that you're aiming for that wee goal rather than aiming just to get rid of it. But that was kind of, that was just a, a big powerful leader. I mean, they're a great goal. I, I love the goals. Like I've said that before about diving mm-hmm. headers and all that as well. But I love a centre half coming up for a corner and just crashing one in. The, um, you see it from behind the... Behind the goals, if you like, for David Marshall's end, there's a, a good camera view at there. And you see, again, you talk about just doing the simple things well. Fish hasn't had to do like a spectacular run or you know, work especially hard. He's had to be stronger than the defender and got there more, first, eh? more determined to get to the ball. Aye. Yeah. Um, so he, he's done his bit well, and uh, and the corners come over, it's right on his head. Do you know, it's mm-hmm. like two. S- simple things done well has given us yeah. that uh, given us that goal and I think that's kind of how Hibs are performing at the moment we're doing the basics well we're defending when we need to defend and creating chances uh, well um, first half we lost uh, McGeady as well yeah. he's sort of chasing a chasing a ball down the left hand side pulled up uh, and that, that was him do you think uh, do you think we'll see McGeady in a Hibs shirt again Ah, he probably will, but I think um depends how long he's out here, but if you're looking at maybe six weeks for Hammy, you're into April. Mm. And then, then you're into like almost the the top six games. So then it'll be like how long does it take to get him fit and all that? So it will we'll see him, it might come off the bench here and there. But I think that the unfortunately, because he's he's a big part of it, as much as we're maybe as much as I'm saying, Jago coming in has made a difference to the team defensively. McGiddy coming into the team has added that football IQ, in it? Definitely. Definitely. And I thought he, he wasn't like, he wasn't like, what's the phrase, tearing up trees? No. Uh, on on Saturday, but he was still posing a, a threat. I quite like the look at our, our forward play. When 
we seem to be kind of attacking through all different sides and different types of attacks all the time as well. It's not like we're, we're playing one, you know, give it to McGeady every time and rely on him and get across him. We're coming down the right-hand side, we're coming down the left, we'll get balls over the top, through the middle. Uh, yeah. And we created a few chances just with, like, the pressing game. You know, the, the six-second, what is it? Um, six-second frenzy, is that what... Um, is that what he calls Johnson it? Johnson calls it. I'm sure it's something like that, the six-second frenzy. I'm going to go with that. Um but you saw, like, Henderson got a good chance for a ball getting, like, pressing, but he ended up kind of running through himself, gets a shot away in the first half. Um, and we created a few a few chances like that, which is, is good to see as well. I think that's one aspect of the game you could probably pick out that we maybe weren't doing quite so well earlier in the season, that we now seem to have a bit more of an idea of what yeah. we're meant to be doing with the, yeah. the pressing. The identity and all that. Well, I don't know if it's the identity, but aye. Um, second half, obviously, we got a great view of the, the goal. At the aye, aye. <laughs> Which we both missed because we were finishing a cup of coffee to the main stand. Um, so, uh, That's the mad, three that. Little, aye. We'll talk about that on the main show, eh? Aye, we will. Um, but obviously, watched on uh, sports scene, so I've seen it. Do you think Hibs finally get a wee bit of luck there? Aye, a wee bit of luck. Um, but... It wasn't, you know, we've probably had the bits of luck before, but we've not actually had somebody maybe with the sort of quality because that was a great touch and you knew, like, you knew where the goals were, you know, to quote like some uh, wanky cliche and all that. But that, that was what it was. He didn't he look, you know, he took, he took a great touch and smashed it in, like, like you would hope a striker could and Aye. would, but they don't always, a wee fight, I find, because that was, was a wee, it was, I think it was Jago that put the cross in, so the defensive midfielder getting into their box and um, put the ball across and. Uh, aye, shite clearance bounced off, <laughs> bounced off. But it, it's one of them that we tend. It always feels, I know, it always just feels like that. But it feels like the type of goals we let in, but aye. we never score. So, but it was, an, it was a nice finish. Like it, it reminded uh, me of the, the sort of goals that Jamie McLaren would score. Uh, just that kind of like a wee touch in the box. box. Aye, I'd get a touch and then a shot away, and that's it. Mm. Got a goal. Uh, aye, and he wouldn't try was... back heel it in or dribble past anybody or anything. You know what I mean? Took the touch and turned the fucking hand. Aye. Just, just made sure it went in. Yeah. And he had, he had a, an opportunity to get a second one a few minutes later. We had like a bit of run at the edge of the box and a shot that went just wide. Mm-hmm. Um, I quite liked the look of Hoppy. I thought he could have... I, I know he got the man of the match. Probably wouldn't have given him the award no, myself, uh, to be fair. But um, I like the look of him. I think he's probably got like a, a bit to, to go before he's right up to speed with the Scottish game. But mm-hmm. it'd be good for him to get off the mark with a, with a goal. Um, the next sort of big incident... The, that kind of came up was the, the red card uh, yep. for Kelly. So that happened pretty much right in front of us, eh? And Aye. at the time I said, I think that's a yellow card. Yeah. You, you thought it was a yellow card. I could see why it's a yellow card. Yep. I could see, to be honest with you, right, I can see, see if it had been any of the three, mm-hmm. n- nothing yellow or red. I wouldn't have argued with any of them, really. Um, red's probably the hard, harshest at them all, though, and I'm surprised that given he's had a chance to go and look at it on the TV, he's then decided that's a red card because he had a high foot, but... And so I'm not sure, like, is it is it dangerous, reckless and careless or something? Is that the three levels? Dangerous um, being the red and uh, reckless aye, being the yellow? I think so, yeah. And he's, he's going for the ball, he's won the ball, he's looking at the ball, but then he is, he's being careless or reckless because he's, his foot's high. Mm-hmm. But then Chibriah did run into it. It wasn't like he had ran into Chibriah to do it. So I'm not but sure, he's, but uh, he's, it's not he's a cut up. I'd to be, be feeling it if I was Kelly. Like. Aye, he's got to be aware that a player might try and hit a ball at that height. And that there's players in the proximity. So I think that's where aye. he's... Where the... Where where I the, would the letter of the law sort of stuff aye. comes in. But I agree with you. Uh, like I said, my first view, and I was like, fucking hell, that's not even a book in. I yeah. watched the, um, the replay on the sports scene... And I was like, you see why he's Jibraya's given it? not claiming it. Jibraya's nah. just like, oh, you're bad that sort of style. He did the four down or nothing, Jibraya, either. It wasn't like he even caught him that bad. It caught him in the neck, I think. Yeah. But it's not like it's not like he's gone, he's trying to do me there. You know, the boy the boy, didn't he? And it doesn't it didn't make it any odds like because they weren't coming back into the game anyway. No. Like the game was done, but it's a wee bit disappointing because it'll get fired back at us with the ten man stuff. Like at some point. It'll just aye. go, you know, aye, ten, well, yeah, there's aye. another one where you beat 10 men, you know, like, but we'll beat them at 11, really, like, you know. it wasn't a turning point in the game, or it didn't stop them getting back into it, or anything like that, because McInnes came to no get beat, and we got a goal, and that fucked his game plan, and he couldn't change it. 
Uh, Kelly were uh, Kelly were poor, and they had that chance near the death. And I think this was something we commented on at the time as well. How good it was to see uh, Egan Riley on the line to, mm. to clear that when the boy had, had kind of got through and beat Marshall. And the kind of goals we used to used to lose, mm. like, it, and it, it wouldn't have mattered. Would, but then the, it does matter because the goal difference could matter at some point because um, we're closing in on third, and the goal difference is what six or seven now. That that would have been another run away. You know what I mean? It's, it's so so they do matter, and so to still be playing like that in the last minute shows he gives a fuck. Shows they're actually trying to you know to keep clean sheets. Um, and and didn't he? Wasn't he just gone? Wasn't he switching off because the game was won? Because it was the game was won. Like Aye. everybody knew it was won. It was relaxed. Everybody was relaxed. So that oh, was brilliant. It's great to have players like on the team just do do their job. Like, and I know it's like like we should expect them to do their job. But we've had years of fucking players know just doing their job. So it's great having players doing their job. So let's fucking be happy about it rather than picking them to pieces because they're no doing something that that isn't their job only. Aye. You know what I mean? It's so like, they're no perfect in all aspects aye, of the nah, game. He, yeah. he can't score in for 30 yards. Can I mean that? Nah, that's right. Because that's not his fucking job. Like he's good at what he's good at. Yeah. And he's a, Egan Riley's a defensive minded player. And he's back in the fucking line, sweeping one away. Aye, it is his job. But we've had Port, Port just recently wasn't he off there on the line to clear one. And I'm not wanting to hammer him because he seems no. to be doing well down the road and all of that. But we seem to be a different team since he's not been in it. Defensively. Aye. I mean, yeah, I saw, I think it was um, Scott Mallard on uh, Twitter that sort of said it was more to do with Rocky than Port just that that yeah, replacement. No. Um, which is, you know, a, a valid but, opinion as well, isn't aye, it? Of course it is. And Rocky and Porteous were both bombing on at times. We spoke about it, running past the midfield and all that. That means then if they're bombing up there, they're not going to be back in the line, including because they're not fucking supporting the striker. Well, you see, remember there, there was a curl in the season we were looking at goals where we're going, it's a cross in or a header. Where are the two centre-halves? Can they remember running yeah. back into the box right. from... Uh, yeah. Who's marking him? Aye. Folk are trying to blame Joe Newell and that for no, no, no marking the striker. And you're like, it's another centre half job. Aye. Like we've had all these conversations. Now we've got centre halves just fucking hating on it and getting rid of it. It's like and folk will say, well, they can't pick a pass or they can't do a fucking so fucking what? Aye. Like they're hating it and they're defending it. They'll get to Aye. somebody that can. That's the, that's why you have other people on the team that are good at that. Because then they give it to them. Now it was like, get to the football player. You know what I mean? That's the Aye. But Anyway. Aye, it was good. I think there was a fourth clean sheet in five games, or third and four, something like that. Um, Aye, and, and one a, of them, actually, the one that's not there is the Ross County one. Aye, which was a farce. Yeah. Um, so it definitely, definitely looks like uh, like things are picking up. Uh, right, that that's pretty much the game. Routine one, routine conversation. I think Colin, he's not mm-hmm. not too much more to say about uh, about the game. Not many folk moaning around about. Well, I mean, you were in the posh seats, but uh, uh, not many folk moaning. Um, but I, I think it was maybe like that in my own seat, just speaking to my, my brother-in-law and that. Today, it doesn't sound like there's as many much of the negativity. It's funny, a couple of wee wins or no letting goals in maybe uh, change the mood, eh? Ah, it's good. Long may it continue. Um, right, we're going to go and record Long Bangers, so we'll, get, we'll focus more on the talking points. Things that we'll be, be, be going into a bit of depth there would be the impact to Jimmy Jago, Will Fish, um, which of the loanees would like to keep. That was one of the talking points. Um, how we'll finish the season as third achievable, etc., which we'll, we'll talk about in extra time. That's for subscribers only. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, thanks for sending the talking points, which we're going to cover off next. And uh, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.